How to create an animated arrow in Adobe After Effects. Now, this is by far the easiest method. I'm seeing tutorials out there with expressions and pig whip and whatnot, and all that is not necessary. It's just a matter of two or three clicks, a couple of steps, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, we're in our composition here. Select the pen tool, and on the canvas, start dragging your path like so. You could uh, go in and tweak the, the path a little bit so it's a little more rounded. This is very similar to the animated flight path tutorial I made the other day, if you wanna check that out. And that should be okay for now. With this path created, go into the shape layer, twirl it open, go into contents, go into shape, and click on path and copy that because we're gonna need it for the actual arrowhead. Before you leave this, go to add and add a trim path. Open that up and here the end value is going to control the animation of the path. Now what you wanna do, you wanna create a keyframe and move it all the way over to the, to the end. This is our preview area that I selected. And when you start with zero, this is our actual, our actual body of the arrow. Now. This is actually all we have to do here. Remember, we have copied this path. Now go in and um, select the star tool, start dragging. And I did this already. When you start dragging, keep the mouse button pressed. With the arrow keys, you can actually set how many spikes this star should have. When you have three and hold the shift key, you have a perfect arrow head. And for this arrow, actually you wanna swap the stroke and the fill, the stroke we want to set to transparent. Okay, and the fill we want to set to solid. And I had selected a white color already. Now, before we leave this, do you see how this triangle is sitting a little bit offset from the center? And this is actually the, the center indicator. We want this to be centered with the graphic. So before you leave this, I mean, it's selected. You can always come back and select the shape layer. Press Control, Alt, and the Home button, or Command, Option, and Home if you're on a Mac. Watch what happens. It will actually center this center point to the graphic, and that's what we're gonna need to move it along the path. So we're done with this now, and now going to the position value of that shape and paste that path. Watch what happens. It's actually following that trim path. That other thing that you wanna do is click on that Arrowhead, right click, go to transform and auto orient. In the pop up, click orient along path. And now it will move along the path, but you have to move it by 90 degrees. So go into the rotation value, set it to 90 degrees. Now look at this. Done. No expression, no pick whip, no nothing. Guys, seriously, I don't know how these, <laughs> how these other tutorials are getting like 300,000 views. And I'm like, Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, seriously, why? Why are you making it so complicated? Now, the le very last thing that you might want to do is actually easing this. So when you select both layers, hit the U key, you see all the keyframes, select the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and click easy ease, and that's it. You've got your animated arrow. It's that easy. No expressions, I don't know why. They make sense if you have another task that you want to accomplish, but for this thing, no expression needed. Really, you don't. <laughs> Super easy. All right, so thank you for watching this tutorial. If you appreciate what I do, please consider clicking on that like button, which is going to help me big time to promote this channel. And yeah, thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.